Hello, my darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here. Thank you all so much for joining me for another Pokemon card opening video. My goodness, am I ever excited about this box of booster cards tonight. We will be opening the Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars booster box. Um, if you have watched my uh, booster card opening videos before, you know I really love um, the art on Pokemon cards. It's probably my favorite part of doing these at all. And originally I wasn't planning on getting brilliant stars. I know, famous last words, right? But originally it wasn't in the plan for me. But I happened to see a couple of weeks ago a little bit of some previews of the art on these cards. And as soon as I saw like two or three that really speaking to me. I was like, that's it. I've got to pre-order this set because it looks so beautiful. And other than that, I haven't uh, seen too much of the art, so it's going to be a really fun discovery for us both. Um, I know one thing about this set, which is that there are a bunch of trainer gallery cards. I think that's probably what I am the most excited about, is the trainer gallery cards. Um, I love in Pokemon card art. Oh my gosh, so cute. My favorite art is when Pokemon are pictured interacting with either other Pokemon or with a trainer. So the fact that they are doing a whole uh, set around trainer cards with the Pokemon, like, that is so what I love. So that was honestly what drew me. I'm go ahead. And I'm going to stack them on the side here. Just so that we can track. Just kind of organizing these here for myself. Lately I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys saying, when will you do another uh, card pack opening? And I was just like, literally like sitting here like, because I knew I had this pre-ordered and I was like, oh, I can't wait. And so for me at this time of filming, literally like the day these cards came out. I rushed out to my local store to pick up my pre-order and we're gonna open them right away and see these cuties. All right, I'm gonna grab one right off the top because it's just kind of speaking to me. Um, this brilliant stars theme is very interesting. I feel like, although I haven't obviously opened anything yet, from what I've seen in the previews, there seems to be like a lot of, like a lot of Pokemon for everybody. It's not like all cool Pokemon or all mysterious Pokemon are cute. Like there's a little something for everyone here. Oh, and by the way, if you're not familiar with my channel, I always use these tiny little Weezerman scissors for opening packs. I know that bothers some people because you really like the peeling, but you know, for my purposes, I make ASMR videos, so um, it's a little noisy to open them like that. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four to the front, and here comes our first pack. Look at this energy. We've got a green leaf energy right here. Or a grass energy. Ooh, Morgrom. I didn't realize that the Impidimp line was going to be in this set. That's fabulous. I really like that. Uh, evolution line. 
friends in Galler. Miss Cardard, look at Marnie. This is already so sweet and it's just like a common card. We've got a Probopass. That's very interesting art. A Turtwig. Did we have Turtwig in the last set? I feel like we did. To tell you, the smell of Pokemon cards is so nostalgic for me. Just opening this first pack, I feel full of joy because I love the smell of trading cards. Sneasel's looking cute in this art. We've got a Clink. That's cute. I like Clink. Spiritu. Look at this guy, he's like a little baby, he's so cute. This evolution line is really interesting too because it starts out so cute and then like his tusks get so big. It's nice to see some more dragon cards too, I have to say. Personally in my collection, I have less dragon type cards than anything else, so I'm gonna be very appreciative of some, you know, some more dragon cards in here. Got a reverse holo Riolu. That's a pretty cute art, I gotta say. Looks like he's out uh, running around in the neighborhood. And we've got a Clinkling. That's pretty intense art. It's kind of neat that we got uh, the Clink and the Clinkling. <laughs> Look at those two guys right together. Evolution line. Alright, so we've got this one, Reverse Hollow. We didn't get anything stand out for me personally from this set, although I really do like the art on this card right here, this Friends and Galler card. That's really cute to me. So, uh -huh, yeah, I'm gonna put this card in the cutie pile. You know I like my cutie pile. Cutie pile is just, uh, cards that I think are cute. That's the basis of it. And we'll put the reverse holo right here for now. That may get moved at some point as we open packs up. Shall we go ahead and do this Charizard pack? You know, a lot of people I know, Charizard is like their number one favorite they love, love, love Charizard. And I'll admit to you um, that Charizard was never really one that I got into. I don't know if that's like kind of a faux pas to say, but Charizard wasn't my favorite, so if you loved Charizard when we were kids, I was a great friend to have because I would always trade you Charizards. Alright, we're starting off with energy. We've got a Vibrava. Look at the art on this. I need to make note of this artist's name. Tomokazu Komoya. Because I feel like I see their art a lot in the last couple sets. And it's really interesting. It's really bold and graphic. If I am thinking of the right artist that is. But it looks really familiar. That's really cool. We've got a Tropius card, a Clay Doll, and a Baltoy. Oh, perfect. This is kind of interesting that we've got uh, two packs in a row where we're like really getting the evolutionary lines right off the bat. Like you could really play with these sets. We've got a Snow Runt actually what it feels like in Canada right now, because literally as I sit here and film this right now, we are getting a bunch of snow. Nose pass. Deden, so cute. I've heard people say uh, Deden and also Dedenny. I'm not sure which is 100% uh, correct, but this art is fabulous. I love going right in the cutie pile. I'm not even gonna wait. We've got a cup chew. We've got 
a reverse hollow far-fetched and what is under here? Oh, we've got our first V card. This is an Agron V. Agron is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon to play with in Pokemon Go. It's like a heavy hitter. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a very intense attack. It requires five energy to play. Merciless Strike for 150 damage. This is an interesting card. I wonder if I could play with this card. Well, we've got our first, first highlight card that I'm gonna put right here so we can look at it a little bit more as we open packs up. That is a very good pull on our second pack already. Hollow Farfetch'd far-fetched right here. I'm probably gonna have to move some stuff around as we go, but as it is, we'll work it out as we go. I really love opening packs with you guys, I have to say. It's something that I've come to look forward to so much. Like, I love these release nights when we get to do this. It just brings me so, so much joy. And also exciting for me now, too, because, you know, now I've really started to play one, two, three, four with these cards. Not in any, like, tournaments or anything like that, but just with my friends. So I have a more vested interest in this game. Alright, this bump energy. Shout out to Frosted Caribou, one of my favorite Pokemon um, YouTubers, TCG YouTubers, one of my favorites to watch. We've got a Pod Helmet. We've got a Siglyph. That is interesting art. This feels very early 2000s to me for some reason. Oh, Acerola's Premonition. So we're getting some interesting trainer art. I know that there's some more cool stuff with this character in the set, so I'm hoping we see her again. Supporter card, we've got Trapinch looking very mighty and ferocious cast form. A throw. This Pokemon is so goofy to me. I don't know. He, he feels... He's, he's wearing clothes very strange, but I respect the strangeness. Shroomish. Oh, look, there's like a little, a little friend in the background. So cute. We've got a Piplup here. Once again, this is what it's like outside for me. Okay, we've got a Reverse Hollow Wormadam, and wouldn't you know it, this is a Yukamori card. Right away, I was wonderful. I love Yukimori's art on these cards. I always look forward to seeing her new work on these sets. She's an incredible, incredible artist, and she literally sculpts these Pokemon and then takes a photo of them, of her sculpture. Isn't that incredible? Like, I have so much respect for her as an artist. This is something she does it. It's amazing. Wow. Okay. Um, this feels really cool. <laughs> mm. I'm just trying to think chill thoughts right now so that I don't um, freak out. This is a really cool card to pull. An RCSB. I mean, you may notice. Huh? 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 This is a really cool card to pull considering the theme of this set. RCSB. This actually seems like a really great card to play, too. I'm very happy with this on our 
only third pack we have pulled these two V cards. Are we going to have a repeat situation of, well, I don't even want to say, but I had a video I posted a little while back of, uh, and if you watch these, you know which one I'm talking about, where we just like pull after pull with these packs. I don't want to jinx it, but uh, this is very beautiful to me. I'm really happy. This is just fabulous. It's not uh, always consistent that I'm this flabbergasted so early in the video, but we are now just opening our fourth pack here. Very exciting stuff. Oh, I should move these. Well, we'll keep this Yukamori out, especially because it's reverse holo, but also just because you know I love me some Yukamori. Alrighty. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, I also wanted to mention, um, a video that I'm working on right now as well. Um, a lot of you have been asking to see my Pokemon card collection, so I'm working on a video where I show basically like my favorite cards for my collection, and yeah, I hope that you look forward to that. That's coming soon. We've got a Psychic Energy right here. Now we've got a Bear Tick. Oh, that's perfect because we already pulled a Cub Chew. So it's nice when you get uh, both stage one, uh, like the basic card, and then the evolution. Oh, a collapsed stadium. Each player can't have more than four benched Pokemon. Oh, see, this is one of those stadiums that could play against you as well. I suppose if you had a strategy, it could work. Look at this Luxio. This art is so, like, 80s colors. I love it. Luxio is such a cute Pokemon. The doof. Look at him in the background. Oh, this is great. The doof lovers rejoice. You have a great new common card to collect. This is fantastic. We've got an Electabuzz. Cute. Halucha. Look at this. I like seeing something different. You know what I mean? This is very different for Pokemon card art, this style, and I like to see something a little different every once in a while. I appreciate it. Guizo, is that how you pronounce it? I've never seen them say that character's name in the anime, but let's say it's Guizo. That sounds good. Gibble. Gibble's so cute. Oh, hello. We have ourselves a reverse holo Luxray. This is really cool art. This is really neat. Even though this is just a reverse holo, like, I'm really psyched about this one. That's awesome. And ooh, we have a holographic card. This is a holographic Infernape. And Infernape's not my favorite, but, you know, always happy to get a holographic card, my goodness. And the art is pretty neat on this one, so I'm, I'm happy with that. We are doing really great, I'm not gonna lie. I think I may have to move these reverse hollows, otherwise um, things are gonna start to get I think. Do you guys notice? I did a little sparkly um, backdrop for this video because, you know, we're doing brilliant stars today. I had to do something a little, a little sparkly. I, I couldn't help myself. We'll pull one from this pile now, this Charizard pack. I wonder if we could actually pull a Charizard likely do you think that is? Uh, I don't know how likely it is, but 
honestly, the Charizard is not even what I'm aiming for. My, like, dream goal card is any of the trainer gallery cards. Those are what I want the most of anything from this set, to be honest with you. I don't know how realistic it is that we would pull one, but maybe. You never know. It could happen. One. Wishing luck on this, and we've got a grass type energy to start us off. And who will be our first Pokemon? Pachirisu. How cute is that? That's a very cute card, Pachirisu. We've got a choice belt. Nice, a choice belt. Nice. Luxio. That's the one we've got last. Milsery. Oh, speaking of Milsery, there's a Milsery involved in one of the trainer gallery cards I'm hoping for. Uh, Carablast. He's a weird, odd little fellow. I like him. He's odd. Clefairy. Oh, I love Clefairy. And a Cheruby. I feel like I've been seeing Cheruby a lot lately. Well, we've got a sock to go with our other card. Yep, I don't have much to say. These are, to me, strange Pokemon. But there's room for every type of Pokemon in the uh, under the sun, as they say. We've got a reverse hollow ball toy and a worm at dam. Ah, nothing too, too exciting in that one. I guess you've got to have some uh, more chill packs to open that make the other ones all the more exciting. I can't have that sitting at the top. I'm afraid I have to put that underneath. I can't have him looking at me. We'll go from this side for the next one. What cards are you guys hoping to pull from this set? If there's a specific one, Please go ahead and leave it in the comments, I'd love to know. And I wish you all very good luck in your polls this time around as well. There's always one that I don't pull out all the way the first time. What is my deal? One, two, three, four. To the back. And let's see. We've got fire energy to start. I don't know if I'm imagining it or not, but do the energy cards look a little different in this set? Like, the sparkles around them? I could be totally making this up, but they look a little, they look a little different. We've got Gloria. Oh, Gloria is so cute. That's really cute art of her, too. Roseanne's back. This is a lot. This is, I'm gonna have to read these. Wow, lots of trainer cards. We've got an Ultra Ball. Actually, this is a good card for playing. I'll probably set this one aside to add to a deck. We've got a Corfish. Ooh, a Golet. Look at, there's a couple Golets here. That's nice. Wow, 100 HP for a basic Pokemon. That's pretty good. Jimiko. That's cute. Chimchar. Oh, we just need the uh, Monferno and we'll have all set, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay, I accidentally just spoiled that for myself. Okay, okay, calm down, Angie. We've got. I'm trying to play it cool, you guys. I'm trying to be nice and chill. be kind of difficult with these. We've got the uh, Chimchar here. Nincino. I'm definitely putting this in the cutie pile. This is precious art. And oh my gosh. We got 
Um, we got the cafe master when I was talking about uh, that other card earlier. I was hoping and praying we'd get the cafe master. I'm so pleased as Punch right now. This man is so cute. I love his face. I love his little gray streaks. I love his shirt. I love him holding this I love this man. He is so cute and I'm, I really wanted this card so I'm just so, so happy right now. And a moth him underneath. So it looks like these um, trainer gallery cards are kind of occasionally in place of the reverse hollow. At least that's what it seems like. I know this sounds weird, but I'm more excited about this than the RCSV because I just really wanted him. He's so cute. I love him. Alright, you sit right here. You sit next to me. We are doing really good, I feel. At least I'm happy with it. Plus, we've got lots of good cards for deck building and Let's pull one from the bottom for this next one. We are on a roll right now. My goodness. Will I be able to pull all of them out this time? Oh, not perfect, but <laughs> it's okay if I can't do it beautifully, I suppose. What matters is the cards. One, two, three. Is that we've done 
is one attack is just ram. Like what does nose pass do? Mm, ram. There's nothing to it. You just ram. Mel Surrey. Oh, you're right at home with Cafe Master. <laughs> We've got a cup chew. I love the art on this. It's really cute. Another Diden Didenny. <laughs> a Sorolas Oh, that's reverse hollow, actually. I must didn't realize it at first. And, oh, a Kingler V. Kingler is nuts. A Pokemon most people get excited about, but always very happy for a V card. That's pretty cool. Falling Bubbles and Raging Pincer. That's King. Two attacks here. Kingler, I love you, and I, I think you're great, but I don't think you're gonna be like on the top of the V cards here. Just gonna do some shuffling. Like so. Yeah. Very nice. You're still great in my eyes, but are you as good as Arceus V? Mm, I don't know about that. Alright, so we can take a Sorolla's the reverse hollow. Sorry, Bidoof. Uh, we're just gonna put you away for a little while. And yeah, I'm gonna really love that Ultra Ball for sure. I'm gonna have to start a second pile over here, I think. Because these are very quickly building up in here, and I don't want them to topple over. Alright, should we go with the Charizard? What do you why not? You never know. We could get lucky with something, right? It could happen. What are the odds, you know? Could happen to me, could happen to you. I just want to get all the cards out perfectly one time. Nope. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it. I've done it before. Not so much in this video. One, two, three, four. Yes. No, I almost got five. Oh, that was scary. Okay. Don't flip it. We've got an electric energy to start out. And a Torkoal. I actually think this is great art of Torkoal. It can sometimes not seem like a really attractive Pokemon, I guess you'd say, typically, but this is very soothing and beautiful art of Torkoal. Like, whoever made this, that's very loving. I like that. Double Turbo Energy. What does that mean? As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides two energy. Heck yes. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Rotal, cute. Hey, it happened again. Are we good at this? Is this on purpose? Turn 
like the basic Pokemon goes to Grodal. That's kind of picture perfect, isn't it? We've got another Sneasel. That's our second Sneasel, I believe. And another Clink, too, as well. And another Spiritomb. This is so like that first one that we pulled, isn't it? This one's, I think, the second back. Maybe. Oh, we've got a reverse hollow Golurk here. Works out because we pulled the Golet earlier. And let's see. that you don't even really love. 
where you're like, why am I holding on to these? Like, they're, they're not serving a purpose here. So I need to revisit that, I think. One, two, three, four. I keep opening them upside down. What am I doing? Alright, we've got a fire energy to Another choice belt. Oh, very nice. No choice. Perfect. Luxio. We've gotten quite a few Luxio. I really like the shiny version of Luxio. I think it's so cute. Hitmontop. Cute. Another gullet. This art, I think it's so cute. The graphic style of it is just, I love it, it makes me happy. <laughs> Another ball toy. I'm being mocked by these ball toys. Okay, we've got a reverse hollow mag mortar card. Oh, I love this. Look, they're like in a battle. Very cool. And a flygon. Nice. It's been a couple packs since we've gotten a hollow. I wonder if we hit our uh, real lucky streak right in the beginning. It's totally possible, but my hope secretly is that we might get a couple more of these trainer full art cards, because that's what I'm that's what I'm crossing my fingers for. We'll do one off the top here. I just 
really love seeing like there's the Poké Center in the background. I like seeing Pokémon interact with their universe and world. Of course, Barry. When I saw him with that Bidoof, I was like, we're gonna see Barry at some point. A blunder policy. I could honestly use a blunder policy in my life. That's something I'm looking for. Trapinch. A cast form. A throw. energy. Oh, we got a fracture. That makes me happy to see the evolution. Do you see what I mean with this Pokemon getting like, it starts so cute and then immediately the tusks grow and it just gets like very fierce and ferocious. Very happy to see some more dragon cards that I can add to my collection. The Dusclops. Oh my gosh, look. Uh, 
try to contain my excitement. Um, yeah, this this rolls. This this is a good this is a good pack. I'm happy. <laughs> so we have a right to V. card and this trainer gallery flareon I'm I'm really look I'm I'm really happy right now <laughs> I love Raichu a lowland Raichu has gotta be my favorite of the Raichus but this card is so cute I never even seen the art for either of these alright I'm happy again I don't even There's four more packs, you guys. We have four more packs. And we've pulled all of these. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I kind of keep forgetting what I'm doing because I'm just like stopping and looking at this Flareon. It's so, oh, it's so cute. Alright, let's, let's see. Neppy, will you bless this pack as well? your cosmog magic. We need you now more than ever, okay? I think I'm gonna have to, like, shuffle some stuff over here because I'm running out of room. We can just put that like that, actually. Let me just, hold on a second. I want to have some room to open the packs, you know? There we go. That's better. Much better. And then these guys, very good. Okay. Alright, that's much better for me. Okay, two, okay. We'll do one, two, three, four. Water energy to start. <laughs> Team yells cheer. I love Team Yell. Oh my gosh, you guys, wouldn't this be great to put in like a Marnie themed deck? Don't you think? Because I have all those Marnie cards. Oh, that would be. I feel like this is such a good. You could do a theme deck, don't you think? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. I just, uh, he's not my favorite. There we go. We have one, two, three packs left. Lots riding on this, huh? Let me put these where they should go, right here. And I just 
like them to be neat, you know what I mean? It makes me happy to look at them like that. There we go. Hey, good for me. I pulled them all out properly for once. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, a fresh water set to heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. Look, we got the non full art version of the Cafe Master. He looks cute here, but like, this is such great art of him. It's not even a comparison. This is like LinkedIn, this is Instagram, right? I'm glad we got the full art version. Ooh, we I like this art. Shanks again. Love it. A far-fetched. An execute. That's really cute art for execute. Look at them all perfectly symmetrical. Oh, the Grimer. Oh my goodness. It gets a little bit spookier every time I see it, I swear. Clefairy. designed so beautifully the way Jolteon is like the foreshortening of it, the way it's jumping so dynamically. I love this card. That is so great. Plus, look, we got Flareon and Jolteon. It would be so cool to get the Vaporeon too, right? I don't know how for words right now. It doesn't happen that often. These are just gorgeous. I am all of a sudden, all at once, so glad I got this set. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so happy. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. A lot of good art in this series. Really, really nice. No reverse hollow in this one because that was in place of the reverse hollow. Wow, we've got two more. I think we're doing uh, pretty amazingly, in my opinion, dear reader. I'm pretty, pretty satisfied already. here. Drop it. And a reverse 
Here's Hollow Probopass. He's a sort of odd looking fellow, but we, you know, good enough. Hey, we got a Grimmsnarl. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like Grimmsnarl. My favorite is the shiny because it looks like kind of like a Yeti, which is fun. This Grimmsnarl sort of has like a green goblin quality. He's the sneaky little guy. There is to say about Grim Snarl. He's just uh, an odd little fellow. Okay, we've come down to the moment of truth. Our last pack today. How are we gonna do? I wonder. Honestly, I'm very happy with uh, our pulse so far, anyway. So, for me, anything else could. These are some of my favorites from just the cutie pile today. Since you know, I love this art. Wormenter, that's, you know, you gotta love a good Yukimori card. Also, that's like a very high elf on that card. I thought this Shinx art was so loving and cute and made me really excited for spring. This Mencino card, too, is just like graphics are lovely. I thought that was really sweet. This Dedeni card is super cute art. And I loved this Friends and Galler card. Draw three cards. Like, this is gonna go right in a deck for me. So the art is just so cute. So 
so I'm really happy with those. And then here are like the rarer pulls that we did today. Starting out with this holographic Infernape. Very cool art on that. Oh, this holographic Bibarel, of course. I don't want to miss that one. We've got this holographic Bosses Order. We've got this holographic Garchomp. It's pretty nifty, I gotta say. We got a couple V cards. We've got the Agron V, the Kingler V as well. Very nice. And these are some of my personal absolute favorites from today. This Flareon card is so stunning. Like the colors, the way the light moves in it. Gorgeous. I mean, the RCSV. We pulled this so early on that I almost kind of not forgot about it, but like the excitement. You know, it's a great card. It's really good. We got the Cafe Master, which personally I really. Such a cute card. We've got this Raichu V. Love this. And last but not least, this Jolteon card. That is just stunning to me. I love this card. I'm really happy with what we pulled today. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Appreciate you being here. Thank you all so much for watching as always, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.